So that is a giant twitchy spider in tabs. How about before we kill it with fire, we feed it a 12 pack of hobbits? I wouldn't mind seeing them get turned into spider poop. Oh, 15 too many, but I'm sure it'll be fine. He can throw battle axes? <laughs> Wait, what? I would not have put my money on the spider th throwing axes. Even though I hear some sucking. Okay, so sucking and axe throwing, if anything, that kind of sounds like a good first date. Somebody call National Geographic because boy oh boy do I have footage for them. What's up guys, welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. The only game where the darkest, most evil beings in creation can rise up from the underworld just to slap a hobbit with their penis. And the best part is, I get to be the one who tells them to do it. We'll start things off against the spooky faction who seem to be a little bit jealous. You know, they used to be the ones who I would raise up to hurt the Shire, but now that we have the evil faction, they're kind of old and busted and seasonal. No, it's not October, so I guess we're just gonna have to teach him a lesson. Well, if there's one thing I know for sure about all these skeletons is that they look cool, but they're built about as tough as a house of cards. So I dare say a couple of Void cultists will be able to use their fancy pentagram swords to rearrange a bunch of bones. And then we might also want exiled sentinels, because they've got a lot of fiery arrows and throwy swords and stuff that we would want to shield against. Except I want to save a little bit of money here because I also want to get some shadow walkers. I have no idea where they're gonna go because I never know where they're gonna go. I mean, they don't even know where they're gonna go. Just somewhere behind the enemy, okay? I don't even care where. Like, yeah, sure, over there, that's perfectly fine. So long as you buy the important units a little bit of time, we need to close the distance against these sword throwers and Hopefully not end up looking like we've been searching for hay in a needle stack. Okay, well, they're still walking. That's the important thing. I feel confident that you could beat a couple of skeletons, but not that many. Oh yeah, we got problems. You maybe want to work that little shield, old man, because it's not doing a whole lot right now. Crap. Who's still alive? It's still, oh, oh, we still got a shadow walker who's stuck. Of course. You know, just conveniently waiting six feet underground. Why dig a grave? He's halfway home. Did I forget to mention that this level is called Vicious Greeting? I'm sure you can figure out why now, but I really feel like we were onto something with the Exiled Sentinels. They went a lot further than I would have expected. Maybe we should go more into them and less into the Void Cultists? We did something like that, then we could back them up with mad mechanics. I don't know how effective Hellfire is against skeletons, because they don't have any flesh to burn, so what do they really care? I don't even think they can feel it. But we'll give it a try, what's the worst that could happen, right? We're not gonna walk off the cliff, that's always a good start. But it's like I said in yesterday's video of Polybridge, you know, first attempts for me feel a lot like that little perforated hole in the side of a box of craft Dinner. They're always there, but it just never do anything. It never friggin' works. In my case, I always gotta move on to the second attempt where things start to get a little spicy. Okay, this was surprisingly flawless. I guess it would make sense for Hellfire to affect the dead, otherwise it wouldn't really do a whole lot, would it? Moving on to a level called Skeletal Corruption. And I've said it before, Grim, but I'll say it again. I thought we were cool, okay? Maybe not friends, but at the very least, good work associates. Now you go and Judas me. Trust me, I know that this is a Judas move, okay? I just came from hell. Judas himself told me 15 minutes ago. This is actually a really weird level because like, even though we're contained to a circular area, we're not surrounded. So they're just gonna keep coming at us wave after wave after wave, which is probably a good thing because I really doubt they're smart enough to avoid all the murky water. We're definitely not. I don't know if skeletons could drown, but I guess we'll find out. I want them to crash into shield. So let's use the exiled sentinel. I need a unit that's big enough not to get plucked up by Grim, but cheap enough to be expendable. Should spread them out a little bit, actually. I don't want them to all get splashed by Grim either. 
But they're pretty good. So these ladies definitely know how to pucker a hole around tentacles. And we can back them up with the mad mechanic again. You know, he did pretty well there. I should also get some Tempest Liches. It's been well, literally forever since I've been able to have the Tempest Lich do anything productive. It's such a dumb, bad unit. <laughs> but maybe it'll prove me wrong for once. And then the Deathbringer will be the one to take down Grim. Because we don't have a whole lot else going for us. I'm not really sure what could kill him. I don't think the lightning is going to manage. The lightning will take out all these skeletons in the front. And then these idiots are going to take their sweet time reloading. But hopefully we can get to Grim in time. Where is my... Oh, crap. Grim can pick up the mechanics. I didn't know that. Where's our Deathbringer, though? He should be just partying out right now. But he's dead somewhere, I would assume along with everything else. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? The storms look really cool. They're, they're very intimidating, but didn't feel like they did anything there. I think we might need to call in the big guns here. How about we get a couple of void monarchs and then the rest will just get spent on exiled sentinels and shadow walkers to buy time. Shadow walker might actually be good here. They're gonna go for a real long stroll to the back of the line and delay the giant. And the Necromancers? I didn't even realize they had those things. Ah, oh, crap, okay. If you guys could transform, that would be wonderful. Did I only get one? Crap, where'd the other one go? Oh no, I got them both. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Just missed it for a second there. Yeah, you see Shadow Walkers bought so much time. Look how dumb these guys are. They're showing up late to the party. You don't seem so giant now, do you? I got a two-story tall demon that's willing to go medieval on your ass. That sword is gonna be planted some Where? Oh my god, it killed them. The giant killed both the demons. How? No, 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 no. I'm calling straight up shenanigans on that. We're running it back. I refuse to believe that that was totally accurate. <laughs> Buy them a little bit more time, Shadow Walkers. Just hold out. Pucker up like the Exiled Sentinels. You guys will learn some way. Now we get our transformations. Get our demons. You know what? I don't even care if you guys kill Grim. Oh, never mind. You can go ahead and kill Grim. Yeah, that works for me. Parade around his corpse. Make the enemy feel bad. Whatever works for you. I just want the giant and the necromancers dead. They're the biggest problem right now. Literally the biggest. No. No. How does this thing keep surviving? I've honestly never used or fought the skeletal giants because it's just a bigger version of the regular skeleton. It's not that cool. But why is it so powerful? This is another one of those times where I would gladly trade my left nut for a ranged unit in the evil faction. It's just amazing that they don't have one. The Tempest Lich doesn't count because it's useless. I'm gonna run it back. We're gonna use the Void Monarch again, but this time instead of two, I'm gonna dig deep down and find ourselves some Infernal Whips. They might be able to break down the Skeletal Giant. Plus, we can get four of them for the price of one Monarch, which is pretty good. And the Exiled Sentinels, the Shadow Walkers, and hope for the best. There we go. Oh, one Shadow Walker picked the worst place to appear. <laughs> Right underneath the tentacles, you absolute maroon. Here we go. Okay, we got a transformation. The whips are working very well. Instantly killed Grim. I, I think I might be underestimating how powerful these whips are sometimes because it's like I said in a past episode, they're kind of, you know, tame. They're not all that flashy. You don't get the crack of the whip. You don't really hear the fire burn or anything like that, but they hit a lot. They survive real well, and they can manage to fight at a decent distance. What the hell just happened? Oh, that's not a necromancer. What the hell are you? It's been a while since I've used the spooky faction. I didn't think they could transform my units into skeletons. I could have swore that was the Necromancer and that the Necromancer would turn a dead body into a skeleton or a couple of skeletons, which isn't that big of a deal because we can deal with skeletons, but I can't deal with them bringing out my inner skeleton. And I, I don't think we have any boneless units. Like they're chicken wings, so no matter what I do, I'm gonna add to the problem. Why don't we just rush them? Maybe if I use all my money on a whole bunch of cheap, stupid units, then I'll get lucky. 
My entire army just disappeared and reappeared behind them. That's gotta be worth something. It's at least very anime. You know what, if we can kill the giant, I'll feel pretty good about ourselves. It looks like we actually have some kind of poison attack. Okay, guys, I know I call you lemmings, but can you maybe not run off the edge of the cliff? Yeah, we're, we're poisoning the skeletons as we get turned into Christmas decorations. God damn it, man. That is not even close to being clones. I never really paid a lot of attention to the Shadow Walker because it's like I said, that they're just bait. And in this case, bait that really annoys me because they're gonna waste my time. But it seems like when they stab a unit, it, it applies some kind of poison effect. Am I really gonna have to help you guys seppuku yourselves? Can, can you maybe just, uh, yeah, do a little something like that? Great, wonderful. And then, um, oh, you were dead. Okay then, so. Back to the drawing board. I, I swear that place should start charging me rent. The only explanation I can come up with is that we're spending too much money on cannon fodder to buy time when it's not really accomplishing anything. You know what I mean? We don't need units that are just gonna fall over or get converted into enemies. So how about we go with our pair of void monarchs again and we'll get them a couple of infernal whips as well and then use the rest of the money on something like a Shadow Walker and a couple of Exiled Sentinels? I don't know, man, I got nothing else. Like, there are only so many combinations of possibilities and I keep running the best possible strategies, but it's not working. I'm really hoping that a big unit with wings and swords will be difficult to convert. You know, maybe they need to be hit a couple of times before they get transformed into a skeleton. Oh. That's exactly it. It's dosage based. They got a little bit white there, but not white enough to get converted. This one got converted though. That one absolutely did. I can't believe that worked and that we just saw that. Hold on, that was really cool. One of the demons absolutely was converted there. It turned into like a medium sized skeleton, like not quite as tall as a giant, but taller than a regular skeleton about the size of a demon, like a unit that isn't actually in the game. And it still had the demon sword and the demon abilities. So it's less so transforming one unit into the skeleton unit and more so converting the enemy into spooky versions of themselves. That's really cool. I, I like that. Moving on to the Western faction where the ladies are given the guns and the guys aren't even given shirts. I don't think I would want to defend my nips from the forces of hell using nothing but suspenders. But then again, you do you. I hate the fact that my enemies know more about the Shadow Walkers than I do, because they're always prepared, you can tell. Because every time they have ranged units, they've got melee units set up behind them. So I can't just teleport behind the ranged units and take them out instantly. I, I, I've got to get shot by at least a couple, which is ridiculous. I, I don't think the Exiled Sentinel is going to do a lot here, because bullets probably go through these crummy shields. We could try uh, maybe a Deathbringer. It's risky though, because Deadeye is really good at picking off strong units. We just gotta hope that they're too dumb to aim for what's actually strong. <laughs> maybe I should have gone with numbers and overwhelmed them? Well, you got a lot of work to do, Deathbringer, and you might wanna do it soon. Wait, can he dodge? It looks like he can dodge bull. Oh, he can dodge bullet, not bullets. I can't believe the ladies are gonna be the last ones standing, especially with aim like that. Wait up. If you can close the distance, you might actually be able to pull this off. Now, I bet on the wrong whammon. Maybe meeting them in the streets is a mistake. Like, their strongest units are all ranged units, so how about we make them come to us one at a time? Again, I really wish that I had some strong ranged units to exploit, but I could try the Tempest Lich, I suppose, have them coming out of this mine. Exiled Sentinels will block the way, something like that? And you guys are gonna take a while to come up and around, which means they'll funnel over to us. And if you could hang out in the gulch or maybe in the forest behind some trees, I don't know, man. Wherever you liches like to hang out, this would be a great place for you to start opening fire just, just below ground, right about here. No, don't go up there. Don't, don't go up there. All right. 
that that's kind of effective, but you're getting shot. Uh, why aren't you moving? Why aren't you moving? I would really like you to move right now. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Is this bad? Did I even need them? Oh my god. I can't believe the Tempest Lich just won an entire level on its own. I've got a prickly ball of stupid back there next to all the cactuses and I didn't even need them. So long as, okay, I was gonna say, do rooftops ruin you guys? I know you're kind of a weather unit. Is there anybody else left? Yeah, starting to think that uh, there might be something in the drinking water of this town. <laughs> Maybe, just possibly. Just gonna throw it out there. Okay, yeah, one left, one over here. You can see him with a stupid blue bum just hanging out. Oh, no, don't get close. Don't, don't get close, Jesus Christ. I was gonna say, if he brings down that pickaxe and gets a double kill, I'm gonna throw my computer. Well, being the God-fearing folks that they are, it looks like they're finally taking this seriously with a level called Total Devastation. It's not very westerny of them. Maybe I'm the one who's gonna cause total devastation. Don't know about those odds, though. They got a bunch of quick draws and some real rickety-looking horses. Part of me wants to set up in the church because that just feels so fitting, but then another part of me just kind of wants to run back the same strategy and see if it can work a second time. <laughs> Maybe you ladies can figure out hills? That would be great. Would really appreciate you being able to get up and out of this mine shaft. The horses are coming awful quick. I know they can find their way down. Wait, would they be dumb enough to run off the edge of the map? There's no way. Oh, oh, no, they didn't run off the edge of the map. Okay, well, that's why you're here, ladies. Don't let them down. Protect your liches. Oh, no, 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 they got one. They got one. Oh, come on. All right, you know what? One lich for all them, that's a pretty good trade. Now, if we could just rain the pain. This is actually quite effective. Holy crap. Okay, I think I figured out how to use the lich. Turns out you just gotta cheese the level and funnel the enemy into you. That is mind blowing. So the only thing left standing between the forces of hell in complete global domination is the legacy faction. Yeah, that bunch of goofballs. So I think we're gonna save that for next episode. And for now, we'll move on to some custom units. Because I know you guys really enjoy this and I found a bunch of really cool ones this week. This is Batman, I would assume. I'm not really sure what he's doing in the prehistoric era or why he looks like somebody put an orangutan in a Halloween costume, but <laughs> let's see if he can solve crime and kick ass. I'm much more of a Marvel guy myself, but I'm pretty sure Batman has fought a bunch of ninjas before at the same time, so five ninjas versus Batman should be a good fight for him. Yeah, he can deflect all the projectiles and then throw his own. And the ones that hit him don't really matter because he's gonna use some kind of upside down back kick to the tits to ruin you. <laughs> yeah, that's Batman, all right. That's, that's no monkey. I wonder how he handles guns. I know he doesn't use guns, but he gets shot at by them plenty. So I can afford a bunch of barrel-bound idiots and we'll see if they can hit him. Oh, are they missing or is he deflecting? Looks like a little bit of both, but the thing is, they've got barrel armor. So his batarangs shouldn't do a whole lot. Does that mean this is a draw? Nope. He's got more gadgets. I really like this unit. That is super clever. He's got the batarangs. He's got the not quite smoke bombs, but bomb bombs. Uh, they're not lethal, I'm sure. Then again, why would batarangs not be lethal? Pretty sure if you throw a piece of metal the shape of a bat into somebody's skull, it's not better than a bullet. Here's a perfectly themed match for him. I was trying to think if there was like a Batman villain I could replicate. Like if there were plants, I, I could do poison ivy, or if there was a calendar unit, I could do calendar man, I don't know. <laughs> we got jesters for the Joker. So we'll have a fair fight here, a fair fight for Batman. Value wise, he's uh, did you just wing ding one of them and then lie down? What was that all about? Okay, well, <laughs> he turned them inside out and took a nap halfway through. I can't move on to another unit without having killed the bat, so how about we have raptors eat him alive? I'm willing to bet he's 
only fought Velociraptors a couple of times, come to think of it. <laughs> Probably, oh yeah, that's a big pile. Come on, get some bat chunks. There's no way he's surviving this. Oh, uh, the bombs. Really? Oh, it's the one thing that always ruins Batman. Love. And maybe a sharpened telephone pole. Yeah, something like that. That's perfect. There's no way he can deflect us all. Oh crap, can he deflect us all? No, he can't. Okay, well, we managed to pin him in the back. Somebody get Selena Kyle in here, quick. We're gonna need her help, otherwise he's probably gonna jump off the edge, yeah, because that ballista can't hit the broad side of a bat barn. Come on now. Please, don't let this go for too long. He's gonna kill Cupid, thank you. Why don't any Batman villains do this? It's so obvious. So that is a giant twitchy spider in tabs. How about before we kill it with fire, we feed it a 12 pack of hobbits? I wouldn't mind seeing them get turned into spider poop. Oh, 15 too many, but I'm sure it'll be fine. He can throw battle axes? <laughs> Wait, what? I would not have put my money on the spider throwing axes. Even though I hear some sucking. Okay, so sucking and axe throwing, if anything, that kind of sounds like a good first date. Somebody call National Geographic because boy oh boy do I have footage for them. Yeah, you can go ahead and die in fire now. I'd really appreciate that. There are no primitive gas stations around for me to set off, but I'm sure the hellfire will close the distance. Oh, oh, okay, uh, they're trying. They're really trying. They're taking these axes like champs, but they still got cut down. Huh. Might want to start a little bit closer. We could also use a little bit more fire, and by a little bit, I mean all the fire. How about that? There we go. Oh, yeah. It smells like somebody burnt a hockey bag in here, but that's fine. <laughs> Giant spider looks really cool, acts really weird. I, I gotta say, overall, pretty cool unit. Now, that is a really cool looking unit. Uh, it's called Demon of Deathy. I don't know why deathy, like it's kind of cutesy, but it's got an infernal whip, it's got a, a death bringer's scythe, and it looks like it's built from a void monarch, so it should be pretty friggin' powerful. You know what, I'm actually gonna try to beat it using smaller custom units. I've got two different ones, we've got World War II Army Soldier, as well as US Army Revolutionary. So two US soldiers from very different time periods, but both, We'll have to face their demon? Okay, this thing does deflect bullets. Oh, we got a casualty, but we're keeping it at a distance. That's really important when the enemy has a blade and a whip. <laughs> Just don't take your time reloading, folks. If anything, your best bet might be to push it off the edge of the map. For all I know, this thing could be invincible, let's be perfectly honest, but nothing survives falling off the edge. Oh, oh. Holy crap. I thought for sure they were gonna lose. Like the demon was gonna soar around and turn things inside out, but they did a great job. That being said, I never got to see what the demon of deathy actually does. So how about we just litter the field with hobbits and then you can litter the field with hobbit corpses. That sound pretty good? Oh, whoa, that's different. So the whip opens a very big burning ring. That was super cool. How did it do that? <laughs> We've seen something similar to that from the good faction. Right? Didn't they have like the, the solar architect? But I don't remember the ring being that intense. This is a, a lot of burnt hobbitses. Uh, what the hell is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> this is a unit called Captain Sauce's Snuffy, and I don't know if it's working as intended. It's definitely not working as God intended. In theory, this should be a really cool unit, right? It's literally me riding a majestic heavenly Snuffy. That sounds awesome, but in practice, it's friggin' terrifying. It's like he's trying to stare at his own back. 
I don't like it. I'm gonna try to kill it with fire again. We've got skeleton archers. They've got fire arrows. So just uh, avoid the snuffy drift. What the hell? Am I driving it like a car? Oh, uh, did it just duplicate, triplicate? Wow, what the hell? We need more units with boobs. We'll get Lara Croft in there, and uh, maybe we could find the cheerleader. Should be around here somewhere, yeah, like that. Whole bunch of cheer-led bullets should help. Possibly, okay, slow motion. So let's just see, Snuffy wants to go out, just waiting and rearing to go, but I'm holding him back. No, Snuffy, you're better than that. I thought this was some kind of weird drifting motion. Like I hit the brakes and decided to skid into them. Yep, that's a lot of tomatoes. Fortunately, they have shields. That's a lot of lightning. I don't think the shields are gonna help against that. I wasn't expecting to go full-blown Voldemort here, but here we are. I like Snuffy's tiny little dainty wings. Oh, it's as if when this is performed in slow motion, he's almost behaving. That's one gigantic fart. What, what, what's happening? Oh, the lightning is uh, actually haunted. I, I, I was gonna say that the lightning is actually Gandalf lightning. It makes them spin around and then explode and stuff like that, but we've separated. So now that we've separated, are we going to get the multiplication? So he is over here doing his own thing. Uh, maybe performing CPR to Lara? That's kind of weird, Snuffy, I'm not gonna lie. Especially with a tusk like that, but maybe we can, uh, oh yeah, he's flying. Every time I look away, weird things happen. And there's another one, and another one. Um, wh where did you guys come from? Even in slow motion, that was too quick. And there's bullets. What's, oh right, Lara, I suppose. Oh, there's another one. And they're just kind of like stretching into existence. I'm done with slow motion. I think I've had more than enough of this. It's really just a thing of beauty. I, I, again, I don't know if this is working as intended, but it feels like somebody made something really awful here. All right, if you know what I think, that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And it's like I said, I found a bunch of really cool custom units, some of which I've shown, but others I'm gonna save, because next episode, we also have the big finale of the evil faction. So if you guys wanna see that soon, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return with more reality-breaking pachyderm soon. But thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.